Purdue researchers have been working around the clock to learn more about this coronavirus that was first identified in Wuhan, China. Professor of Cancer Structural Biology Andrew Messikar says the genome, or structural map, of the virus was released to the public two weeks ago. He and others are using that information to understand the proteins that keep the coronavirus alive so the researchers can identify and test chemicals that could kill the virus. What we want to do is develop therapeutics pills that basically would enter a human body and then target those enzymes and knock the virus out. So we're trying to understand which chemical molecules that we can use. Messikar says researchers quickly learned the structure of the Wuhan coronavirus has a lot of similarities to the SARS virus. That gives scientists a good idea of which compounds to test against the coronavirus once they get a hold of the virus proteins. And so now we are about a week away from being able to generate those proteins and test these potential antiviral compounds against uh, the enzymes. Messikar says any scientific advancements with the Wuhan strain of the coronavirus won't lead to a treatment for patients in this particular outbreak, but he says eventually researchers will gain enough information to develop a vaccine similar to the flu. So if we have knowledge of all the potential strains that could possibly rear their ugly heads, to the human population, we can begin to develop and have those vaccines ready. And hopefully then this is not the type of thing that, you know, we're gonna really sweat it um, moving forward. Reporting in West Lafayette, Chris Morrissey-Vita, Star City News.